Hi, my name is Calvin, and today we're going to be going over how to add the digital music that you've purchased from pianodisc.com into iTunes and then onto your iPad. If you don't have an iPad but are using an iPhone or iPod instead, don't worry. You can use the same steps in this video to add your piano disc music to these devices as well. For this video, we will assume that you have iTunes already installed on your computer and that you have already purchased an album from pianodisc.com. If you don't have iTunes on your computer, it can be found at the following address. When you download music from Pianodisc, it will arrive onto your computer in a zip file much like this one. A zip file is simply a file that contains other files inside of it, and in our case, that's where the songs are that you just downloaded. It's convenient because instead of having to download 10 different files, all you have to do is to download one. In order to get to these different files though, we have to locate the zip file that you just downloaded. Unless you specified otherwise, the zip file will be in your browser's default downloads folder. If you already know where that is, go there now. If not, open the browser that you use to download the zip file with and type Ctrl J on your keyboard. With luck, that should have opened your browser's recent downloads list. If not, you'll have to find your default downloads folder manually. We'll start by looking for your browser's menu. Every browser will be different, but the menu is usually in the top left or right hand corner of the window. Once inside the menu, look for an entry that says Downloads or View Downloads and click it to view a list of all of your recent ones. This list should be able to tell you the location of your zip file and possibly give you the option to jump to the file's location. Do this now. If you are still unable to find your browser's recent downloads list or location, I recommend doing additional research on Google to help you. Now that we found the zip file, we need to extract it using either the built-in software on your Windows or Mac computer, or a free third-party program such as 7-Zip or WinRAR. If you'd like or need to use one of these third-party programs, do a Google search to find them and install them onto your computer. To extract the zip file, simply double-click the file to open it and then drag and drop the folder onto your desktop. Once you've extracted your music files, it's a very good idea to put them, as well as the rest of your piano disc music library, into one common folder to keep everything organized. Since we're going to be adding these songs into iTunes, we'll put them into a folder inside your default iTunes music folder. For Mac OS X users, your default iTunes folder can be found under Users, Username, Music, iTunes. For Windows XP, go to C Drive, Documents and Settings, Username, My Documents, My Music, iTunes. For Windows Vista 7 and 8, the folder can be found in C Drive, Users, Username, My Music, iTunes. After you've located iTunes' default music folder, double click to enter and create a new folder called Piano Disc. Then, drag the music that you've extracted into this folder. Now that you have your music files organized, it's time to add them into iTunes. Keep the folder that you moved your piano disc music into and put it off to the side, and then open iTunes. With iTunes open, go back to the folder with your piano disc music, and then highlight and drag the album folder into iTunes.
Now, if you're like me, sometimes you'll want to put your music on shuffle. However, you won't want your pianist's music playing with your personal music. This is because the instructions to the pianist player are included in the music files, and if the music is not being outputted to a pianist system, you'll hear a constant high-pitched noise like this. Fortunately, iTunes makes it really easy to avoid any annoying surprises when you shuffle your music. Simply highlight the tracks that you don't want to play, then right-click them, and then go down to Get Info, and then the Options tab. Lastly, you'll want to make sure the Yes is selected in the drop-down box for Skip When Shuffling. The best way to manage and add your pianist music to your iPad while keeping it separate from your other music is with playlists. A playlist is simply a list of songs that you would like to play. To create a playlist in iTunes, make sure music is selected in the top left menu. Then go to the Playlist tab and click on the plus sign on the bottom of the left of the screen and then select New Playlist. Once you click New Playlist, you'll be brought to a new screen. This is the Music Selection screen. We are also given the opportunity to name your playlist. We'll name this one Pianist Music to keep it simple. After you've named your playlist, it's time to add some music to it. To do this, simply find the music that you'd like to add then highlight and drag and drop it into the playlist area. When you're finished adding music to your playlist, click the blue Done button in the top right hand corner and you'll be brought back into the playlist screen. If you'd like to add more music to this playlist in the future, all you have to do is come back to the playlist screen, highlight the playlist that you'd like to add music to, and then click the Add To button on the top right hand corner and you'll be brought back into the music selection screen. Now that you have a playlist of your piano disc music ready to go, it's time to add it to your iPad. So plug it into your computer and let's get started. Once your computer and iTunes recognizes your iPad, an iPad button will appear in the top right hand corner of iTunes. Click it and then select the Music tab. From this screen, we can manage what music gets synced to your iPad. If the Sync Music button is unchecked, go ahead and check that now. Directly under Sync Music are two buttons that will let you choose to either sync your entire iTunes library to your iPad or selected playlists, artists, albums, and genres. Now, if you only have pianist music in your library, or if you don't mind mixing your personal music in with your pianist music, go ahead and check Entire Music Library. If instead you'd like to sync only your pianist music, check selected playlists, artists, albums, and genres, and then go to the playlist box and check Piano Disc Music Playlist. Finally, hit the apply button at the bottom of the screen to begin syncing your iPad. Please don't unplug your iPad from your computer until it is finished syncing. 